you Decepticon scum. Oh, I'm not one of them. Name's locked down. I'm what you call a bounty hunter. A Japanese samurai bounty hunter? It actually works. IFEX 53, Iron Factory's legend skill Lockdown. Lockdown is this intimidating, monstrous bounty hunter. This robot samurai takes that vibe and runs with it. Oni means demon in Japanese, and with his spikes and skeleton armor, this figure has a very strong demonic warrior appearance that suits Lockdown very well. The silhouette is very unique, small head, long neck, very skinny torso, and disproportionately wide hips. It doesn't look great from all angles, but it's faithful to the character design. Iron Factory put this guy in the Samurai series, so he's got a Kasaji, the Japanese bamboo hat, and a Katana, the traditional Samurai sword. The overall look takes inspiration from IDW comic Lockdown. Putting all these design elements together, you get a sinister ghost Samurai Transformer character that looks super cool. He is so different from what I normally collect, it's like he's from another dimension. The figure is made out of hard black plastic, with some grey bits mixed in, including the biceps, the waist, and the toes to break up the black. All major joints, including his shoulders, elbows, hips, knees, and ankles are built with durable grey plastic. The figure is light, but the joints are all super tight, so it feels very solid. The face sculpt is very faithful to the comic design. Even with so many new design elements, EX-53 still captures the essential look of Lockdown very nicely. Using the included bracket, Lockdown's katana and kasaji can be stored on his back. And as a bonus, this port is compatible with Tamashii Nation's stand for posing. I quite like the hat, it gives Lockdown a distinctive look. He has a total of 4 pairs of hands, open palms, gripping hands, fists, and gripping fists. And also he has 2 hooks, one for each side. There are 3 chains, you can combine them a variety of ways, such as using the chains to extend his hands. Inside the box, you will find a bag with 2 pieces of cloth. Of course you can use them to clean the figure, but their main purpose is to protect you from pain. I never thought I would actually use them, even with all the figure's notably pointy spikes. But when I tried to disconnect the chains, I realized I really did have to use them. The chains are made out of hard plastic with tiny spikes all over. They're super tight when connected. I'm not even sure this is a very considerate or a design flaw. This is my first time handling an Iron Factory figure. The articulation is very impressive. Ball jointed head, decent up and down. Ball jointed neck, providing some extra range of motion for the head. Ball jointed shoulder that lifts about 90. 360 rotation, and due to transformation, he has a significant range of motion moving the arm backward in a slight forward swing. The shoulder armor is connected to the shoulder with a ball joint and a hinge. Ball jointed bicep, double jointed elbow, and ball jointed wrist. There is a separate hinge on the wrist for transformation, and that is perfect for putting him into a samurai pose with his katana. The waist is involved in transformation and features two ball joints. The lower one offers some backward bend, but no actual ab crunch. The skirt armor is also ball jointed, so they can rotate and also have some forward and backward swing. The legs are also ball jointed, connected to a hinge on the waist, so they can swing back. And the legs moves forward 190, but backward almost 180. And to the side, 90. 360 thigh rotation, double jointed knee that bends close to 180. The ankle is on a hinge, 
and lastly his ball jointed feet tilt 90. The figure mainly uses ball joints for articulation, but they are mostly hidden very well and do not affect the overall look. And now, time for transformation. This figure's transformation is very simple, but not easy. The joints are very tight, there are spikes everywhere, and some parts are only held by friction instead of taps, like the headlights, the front fender, and the roof. So it requires some adjustment to get the car perfectly in shape. The vehicle looks even cooler than the robot. This is the car for Ghost Rider. It captures the classic lockdown muscle car look, red windows, green drapes, spikes on the wheels and doors, and with two demon heads as the headlights. The hat covers the back of the car, and the sword taps on with the bracket. The round pad could be used to connect the chains and hook. Fantastic! With hard plastic wheels, the car rolls just okay. This original samurai design from Iron Factory is a nice little surprise. It is an interesting crossover of a samurai and transformers, and it fits Lockdown's character very well. I'm so glad the Legend Skill Transformers are getting so much better in quality while bringing more and more choices to Transformer fans. And with that, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.